Well, hello and welcome to World of Trolls. Some of my trolls, anyway, not all of them. I've got a bookcase devoted to my trolls. I like to try to display my trolls in unusual ways. I don't like to just put up shelves and line them all up. And when every time I see a video on my troll collection, it's a whole bunch of shelves against the wall with the trolls lined up, chung, 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 you know, one against the other in rows like books. I don't like to do that. So I've been coming up with some, I guess, innovative ways. This troll's in a glass jar, can you see? And you know what? They don't breathe, so it doesn't really matter. This was a jar that was in the dishwasher and it fell down in and got warped. And my husband was going to throw it out and I said, don't throw it out, it's so cool. It really looks good that way. And this is um, something I found in the garage. It's a dome. It's got two babies in it. <laughs> I just found this today. It's just a, a storage thing. It's got a glass. I just think it looks really cool. Troll is standing on the glass. Look at that. Keep going, going up, going up. Ta -da. And this one is also standing on a glass. It's a cube. And inside we've got mini trolls. Quite a few of them. And this lovely troll is standing on a glass. Kind of a crystal. And these down here, they're standing on like tins. I found a whole bunch of, wait a minute, let's get some light. I found a bunch of storage tins and I was not using them for anything. They were just around. Nice looking. That had toffee in it. I don't know, it had chocolates in it or something. I don't know what that was. The lid of something. So anyway, now these girls are standing on these. I think it looks kind of nice. They sort of go together. They're wearing similar outfits. These are things I knitted. Oh, isn't she cute? She's a dollar store troll. Can you believe I got such a cute troll at the dollar store? Yeah. I did. The rest of them, yeah, that's Dollar Store too, I think. That's a damn troll. I like her. There's a few other things too. I like that too. <laughs> I gotta bring my light with me. I said I like creative ways of displaying my trolls. I like these two guys. They're so cute. And they came with a lot that I got with nine trolls. I didn't like that type of troll at first. Now I really like them with the outfit as part of the troll. I like them now. A few more babies. They're just running all over the place. We don't know who they belong to. They're just running all over. This couple, I made her a new outfit. She had the ballet costume on. Somebody else is wearing it now. Um, I wanted her to have a different outfit. He's cute. I just love him. Look at the nose on this guy. That's a troll. I like the nose on him. She's sort of a pretty girl. For a troll. She's a very pretty girl. Yeah. I love the damn trolls because they're all so different. These guys are... It's a treasure troll. I made an outfit for the treasure troll. And there's another dollar store troll. And these two have sort of... 
kind of the same outfit. They're very different trolls. This one has the most beautiful hair I think I've ever seen on a troll. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. Lavender colored. And then some of my big guys are down here. Oh my god, I wish I had a better, better one. It's just a nightmare. The new guy in town. Yeah, that's Finn. Also known as Finian. He's a very cool troll. I like him. He's friendly. He just looks like he's talking or singing or something like that. And I made him a sweater, you see. Kind of a furry sweater. And there's uh, Frodo. Frodo does look more and more like a girl. Frodette. And here's uh, Archer and Devon. Archer's a cool troll. I've had Devon a long time. And these are the guys. And you know, then there's my whole. Whoa. This really looks weird the way it's lit. This was my initial way of displaying uh, trolls. It was like. It's a bit like Jailhouse Rock, you know. <laughs> it's supposed to be apartment towers. But they're old CD uh, stack cases, um, as you can see. And we kept them, and now I'm using them for something else. It's recycling. This is Frank and Troll, who has now been reborn. I'm going to have to rename this Troll. It's got a sort of cloud of hair, a sort of unusual belly button stud. Looks almost floral. And here's the long Rapunzel troll. And some of my other new ones, and of course Trollina. She's still wearing the same party dress. I cannot get her to take that dress off. I have sportier outfits for her, but eh, you know, Trollina. Then one of the new guys is really trying to warm up, warm up to Trollina, or get Trollina to warm up to him, or her. It might be her. I'm not sure. You know, I've said it before, I'll say it again. My trolls are gender fluid. They are not restricted by such social categories as gender. They just aren't. It doesn't interest them. So my trolls can be anything they wish to be. I think that's good. 